All right, baby, we back once again. Time for the monthly Patreon-funded Rapid Fire Skin Review. This time brought to you by Kitrit. Everybody pretend to be shocked. But much like the last couple months, not only is the topic of today's video focusing on an individual champion, Kitrit did not even choose said champion. Instead, leaving that up to her friend, Bear Commander, who chose, well, should be kind of obvious based on the name. It's a fucking bear! No! Volley Bear, one of my personal favorite champions. Hey, look. One I've already talked about a couple times in this series, so for the sake of transparency, my score for Ink Shadow and Prestige Dragomancer have remained unchanged. Though I would probably drop down base Dragomancer from an 8 to a 7.5. <laughs> it's still a good skin, but let's be honest, if you had the option, would you ever choose this one over the Prestige version? As for Volley Bear's remaining skins, he has a decent number, albeit not much variety. I imagine Riot Zilius, for someone who hated the idea of an Armored Bear champion in the game at all, Volley Bear's first skins were designed this way just to spite him even more. The fuck? That's not to say all of his skins are just different variations of Lightning Bear, he has some fairly decent ones in fact, so let's check them out together, shall we? Starting with Thunderlord Volley Bear, one of only two skins a part of the Thunderlord universe, both of which having biographies very distinct from one another. For old Volley Bear, this was essentially a chroma, with the only novelty being he's a different kind of bear, but post rework, while definitely an improvement, I can't help but notice the missed opportunity here. They already roll swapped Orn from Magma to Lightning, how cool would it have been if they took Volley and swapped him from Lightning to Magma? Yeah. It's not like Riot is beyond completely overhauling older skins for champion reworks. For the skin we got though, it's fine. 4.5 out of 10. Northern Storm Volley Bear. It is kind of funny seeing Volley Bear fully decked out in military winter weather wear, but honestly I forget this one exists half the time, though that could be because it's a legacy skin, in fact the only one of Volley Bear's catalog. But that's not so bad, right? It means despite being an old as hell champion, pretty much all his cosmetics can be purchased whenever you want. Some champions could only dream of such a luxury. I'm mainly confused why in a skin line leaning more towards grounded realism, the Arctic Ops Squadron has a literal bear among their ranks. Maybe he's their secret weapon, I don't know. <laughs> this skin is a reminder why putting clothes on Volley Bear rarely works. Do not take that out of context. Four out of 10, Rune Guard Volley Bear. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this skin is canon, right? It's what Volley Bear looked like back in the old days, wearing armor that Orn specially crafted for him. I wouldn't blame you guys for not knowing that this skin is canon, seeing as it's the only one of his skins that's connected to the actual Runeterran canon, yet the only one that doesn't have a bio. Oh. But I really think this should have been D skin to really go ham on the armored bear idea of old, but unfortunately this one's pretty bland and only proves Zilius's old point correct. Also, he's shaped like a Minecraft Ooh. character. 4 out of 10. Captain Volley Bear. Well, I'm not exactly fond of the glorification of the Riot skins as they represent a workforce that isn't exactly pedestrian conscious. Police brutality coming up. I think Cops and Robbers Volley Bear is just fantastic. A bumbling oaf completely incompetent at his job and is played entirely for laughs. The goofy Very fake mustache, good. the lightning rods on his back replaced with police sirens, and of course, the blaring alarm sounds that play whenever you use your cue. Plus the fact that he has a partner in crime in Constable Trundle, a champion well known for having worms in his brain. Your friend of a worm in his brain. They make the perfect idiot buddy cop duo, and I love it. Kill! 9 out of 10. El Rayo Volley Bear. This one specifically holds a point of contempt for me for one simple reason. The lightning's color. I don't remember why, but for whatever reason, Wright refused to change the color of this skin's lightning to purple. That sounds like a bit of a weird complaint, but it is purple both in the splash art and in his recall. At least, it was. And it was beautiful. And I know it's only a 750 RP skin, but some 520 RP skins have gotten particle effect recolors before. <laughs> Personal gripes aside, it's decent. Not the best wrestler skin, not the worst. It does its job just fine, even if the fur texture looks like a pineapple. pineapple. Five out of 10, the thousand pierced bear. It's perfect. Were you expecting something else? No. Well, unfortunately, not the canon appearance of the Volley Bear we've heard about so much in the stories. Instead, relegated to the Eclipse universe, acting as one of the Freljordian Elder Gods. I must consult with the Elder Gods. But oh my god, this skin is amazing. Fully integrating the chimeric Eldritch Horror vibes described in the Silence of the Damn Short Story, taking the Thousand Pierce Bear idea Ouch. quite literally. While some rightfully so viewed as a shame this isn't default Volley Bear, you cannot deny just how cool it is we got to see an early concept of a champion realized as a skin in League. Something I wish Riot would do more often, to be honest. And let's not forget one final awesome thing about Volley Bear's best skin, that if you own the champion pre-rework, you got this skin for free! 10 out of 10. Now for my personal ranking, it goes as follows. Number 10 is Northern Storm, like I said earlier, I often forget this one even exists. Number 9 is Rune Guard, this should have been awesome, but winds up feeling pretty basic. I never use this one post-rework anyway. Number 8 is Thunder Lord, it's a decent design, my favorite of the Lightning Bear trio, but outside that vacuum, it's not at all special. Number 7 is El Rayo, I still hold a grudge against this one, but because of that, I might have accidentally formed a nostalgic connection to it. Number Six is Duality Dragon. It's just not as cool as the Prestige version, let's be honest. Number five is Shanghai Scrolls. You didn't see that coming? Yeah, I thought I might as well include this one in here. It's quite nice, but the new direction they took Shanghai Scrolls on PC this year is a thousand times better. Number four is Ink Shadow. Tiger Volley Bear still weirds me out, but I can't deny just how clever it is having the tiger stripes and placement of the tattoos. Number three is Captain. I love me some joke skins. I only wish this one wasn't set in a theme so 
problematic. Number two is Prestige Duality Dragon. Ah, I remember back in the day, a very brief window of time where Prestige skins were actually awesome. I miss those times. And number one is the Thousand Pierce Bear, surprising absolutely nobody. But those are my thoughts. What do you fellas think of Volley Bear's skins? Do you like them? Do you not? Perhaps what skin line do you think he would be a perfect fit for in the future? I know he just got one, but for a monster champion, he is more popular than most, so I imagine it won't be too long of a wait till we get the next one. That's all for me though, fellas, so I guess until next time, I'll see you in the next video.